Hi everybody, I'm Tony Soros. I wanted to show off a little experiment that I did this week. Um, years and years ago, they said that uh, the indigenous people here in Southern California used to add uh, plant liquid like cactus juice or um, there's a few other plants um, that they added the water to the clay and mixed it together and it was supposed to promote plasticity. Nobody really knows what it was for, but uh, I decided to add some cactus juice to some of my clay and um, it sounds like the pots are way more vitrified um, than they normally are. This is uh, all the same clay. Uh, the plant liquid, I think, helped the salts migrate out to the surface, giving a little bit more of a buff color than this orange one. But this, this one I did not add the uh, liquid to, and it sounds like this. It has a fairly nice ring. And this, these two I did add the liquid to. You can hear there's more like a bell much higher pitch and I think what happens is the the plant liquid mixes in between the bits of silica and the clay and sand and when it starts to burn out it vitrifies those particles together and if you look at a lot of the old shards out here some of them are almost melted in between the you know the inner inner wall and the outer wall they look kind of like glass and uh, another thing that I learned years ago from my grandmother, she would make these little glass tabs for me for making arrowheads and when she would melt two slabs together, in this case a clear one and kind of an orange one, she paints Elmer's glue in between the two and then puts them in a kiln and that helps the, the two uh, fuse together. It's like a fluxing agent so I'm assuming that's what the liquid does in the clay as you add the, the, the plant liquid into the clay. And uh, they did use prickly pear cactus uh, juice and I'm trying to remember some of the other stuff. Uh, Yerba Santa juice and maybe mugwort I think was another one. Um, but not quite sure. And, and out at uh, the Crit Reservation, one of my friends knew the word for the plant that they poured into the clay mix, but they don't know what the plant was. It was, it was just part of a, one of the language things that they had learned. And so nobody could ever identify what plant it was. But if you're looking for a good plant liquid to add to your clay, I bought this at Walmart. It's aloe vera liquid. And I think it's only about six bucks. And I only used a little bit of it to add to wedge it into the clay. But when you're mixing your clay up with the water, you might just add a whole bunch of this and then see a what amount works best for you. Probably the more the merrier, who knows. But uh, give it a try, try it out in your clay and see if it uh, vitrifies better and maybe your pots will hold together better in the firing. Thanks for watching.